There is a mouse in the house, cried Chiku, as he jumped onto a chair. Ba laughed, but she was worried that the mouse would sneak inside their cupboards and make holes in their clothes. Chiku named the mouse Underbai and said, "It is small but plump." Chiku and Ba. Tried to chase it out of the house, but it was smart and always disappeared in a corner somewhere. Chiku said, "Underbai is a daring creature. He is fit and fast." And can jump from the cupboards to the sink, and onto the floor, just like a circus acrobat. Underbai often littered the floor with food crumbs, and made Ba very upset when she found out that he was nibbling at everything, from paper and clothes. To food, Ba told Chiku, "It is very difficult to catch mice. They are like magicians; they appear and disappear in a flash. And when they are in the house, food disappears." It is amazing how a little creature like this. Can upset our lives. Ba asked Chiku to look for a mouse trap in the storeroom. Chiku found it, but even if Underbai was caught, he always managed to wriggle out and was at his mischief again. So Ba sent Chiku to buy a new mouse trap. That night, Ba put a ghee-soaked chapati on the hook of the trap, whose smell Underbai simply could not resist. This time, Underbai was firmly trapped. And unable to escape. The next morning, Chiku looked into the mouse trap and called out to Ba, saying, "Underbai has eaten the chapati and has become so fat that he cannot get out of the trap." Chiku and Ba peered into the trap. Their hearts. Melted when they saw Underbai looking at them with his black, beady, innocent eyes. For a moment, Ba and Chiku felt like freeing Underbai, but decided against it. With heavy hearts, Chiku and Ba carried the mouse trap to the park and returned. Underbite to Mother Nature.